Hello, it's Monday again. I didn't have Hector work today. He took a uh, Friday off. And I got off really late on Friday. <clears throat> and I couldn't go wash this house. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wash it right now. I was in the wash over the weekend, but I had things to do and stuff. And <sighs> I had to do things and stuff. And so it's mid morning right now. I'm gonna go wash it real quick. It'll take me an hour or two to wash it. And then, uh, and then I think I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna take some materials so he has so he has things to do there in the morning. And then tomorrow, I'm just gonna send him there early. I'm gonna tell him to be there at 6.30 so he can start early. It's gonna start getting hot. So we'll get there at 6.30 and I'll go about, about noon time because we got some stuff to do in the morning. Uh, and then that's it. I'm gonna finish up that house this week. That's all I have for this week. I have, uh, it's kind of a big house. It's, it's not that big. It's big, but it's not big. Let me rephrase myself. It's like uh, 2,500 square feet, so it's not a very big house, but it also has a casita. So the casita is like, I don't know, like 1,500 square feet. So we're gonna paint both of them. Make it look pretty. So that's it. We'll go out there, we'll pick up some paint, some materials and stuff, so he has stuff to do in the morning. We'll go from there. So, just finished washing the house. But this is the house we're working on. That's the main house over here on the left. And then the small casita over here on the right. I think their grandmother lives there. So it's gonna be a fun one. It's going the same color that it is right now, so it should be shouldn't be that difficult. It's just nah, it shouldn't be that difficult. There's uh there's cracks and stuff that the there's cracks that the house has and stuff. But nothing that can't be fixed. Pretty simple to do, so we'll see. I gotta stop by this Walmart out here because uh, I'm looking for some uh, uh, syrup. Erika really likes this coffee from Black Rock. Black Rock uh, Cafe, it's called. And uh, man, it's expensive. <laughs> it's like, it's expensive and then they ask for a tip, you know. And yesterday, I went and I was gonna surprise her with the coffee. And I was kind of in a hurry. So I stopped by and I picked up a coffee for her. It's a, it's a caramel blondie, but she likes it a specific way. So I ordered it. I ordered a large caramel blondie, how she likes it. And she, they gave it to me and it just didn't look right when they gave it to me. But I was kind of in a hurry. I was like, ah, it's probably just me. And I put it in, in the cup holder. I got home and I gave it to her and she tasted it. And she says, what is this? And, she, and so I tasted it and it was nasty. They gave me the wrong drink and the wrong size. And, you know, and they, they asked for a tip. So that, that's why that whole the whole tipping thing's out of control because, uh, like, I tip all the time. If we're sitting down at a restaurant and the uh, uh, server is serving us, and you know, we, I always tip. But like, everywhere you go now, they want tips. And you don't even know if the service is gonna be good. You're just tipping just to give extra money. Uh, like, uh, the other day we went to Bosa Donuts, got two donuts and turned the screen around and they're asking for a tip. Everywhere you go, they're asking for tips. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, I feel it's out of control. But, um, so they asked for a tip and everything, and I paid and everything, and I get home and it's, my order's all messed up. Well, the coffee's all messed up. So anyways, I went on my little rant because I, I went online, I figured out how they make it. So, I'm gonna try to make the one. See if she likes it. What's the worst guy that can happen that she doesn't like it? And if she likes it, well, I'll just start making it for her and myself at the house. And uh, I told her I was gonna try to make one with uh, Panera Bread coffee, but they don't have uh, decaf cold brew there. And that's kind of what I need, I think. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna stop by the Walmart over here. I sent a quote to a client that we've done uh, some work for her. 
and she told me that it was an 1800 square foot house and you know, gave me all the information. And I sent her a quote, and, and uh, I mean, it's a fair quote, it's why I charge. But I think she's one of those person, one of those people that because she, they give me work, more than one job that they want more of a discount. They kind of gave me a discount already. And she texts me then, she says, it seems a little high for uh, just walls. She says, uh, can you meet me at the house to see if you can do better? It's a brand new build. So I, I know what an 1800 square foot house, three bedroom, two bathroom, living room, hallways looks like. So I'm just gonna tell her no, that I can't go, I'm kind of busy. But uh, it's a fair price. I'm not gonna lower it, I mean, it's a fair price. I'll, I'm gonna give her the option to use cheap paint. I don't like using cheap paint, but if she really wants me to do it and she wants it like $150 cheaper, she's gonna have to go with cheap paint because I can't be lowering prices. No, I can't do that no more. I'm home. Oh, well, good morning. Got Hector at this house working already. He got there early. I had an appointment this morning. And then, uh, so I stayed home. And I dropped Noah off, and I was supposed to go to this appointment. And then they called to cancel it. Not cancel it, uh, move it to another day. So I'm going a little bit late, but it's all right. I did stuff in the office and stuff, and just did a couple of things I had to take care of. Now I'm on my way to Don Edwards to pick up some paint, and then to go see Hector. He's over there prepping already, so by the time I get there, I should be able to start spraying pop outs. I'm only gonna spray pop outs today and then tomorrow uh, start painting the body. Should be done by Friday, early Friday. So we're ready to go here. Hector's got almost everything all prepped out already over there. And I'm gonna start spraying from that side of the house. And I'm gonna go around and do the pop outs. Should have a good day. It's a little bit late and it's, it's a little bit hot. It's not that hot, but it's getting, it's getting there. So I'm gonna get started and go from there. Well, I'm all done here for right now. It's kind of early, it's like uh, it's like 1.15. But uh, I gotta go to, uh, do some stuff. I gotta go take care of, but uh, that lady that I sent her a, a quote yesterday or the day before yesterday, when she texted me back, right? And she said that, uh, that she felt was too high. So I just texted her back. And I told her, well, I said, I could substitute the paint for contractor grade and knock off 200 bucks. I mean, that's all I can do because I thought about it and like the price is what it is on everything. It's not like you go into to Walmart and say, I don't think this shampoo is worth $3. You know, I want to pay $2, you know, or go to, <laughs> we went to Five Guys the other day. And like the price of a, I got a, a, a cheeseburger, french fries, and a shake. And the price was like $25. And then they asked for a tip. So I paid like $32, $33 for like a meal. I'm like, wow. But I can't sit there and say, well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it. So let's negotiate the price, you know. Well, that's what the prices that they have. And that's what they think their things are worth. Like, there's certain things I, I look and I say, it's not worth that, but that's the value that they feel it's worth. And my work, I think it's valued at what the prices I give. And I don't think it's too high. It's not low, it's not high, you know, it's just there. Uh, and the funny thing is that yesterday, the, I sent a, a quote to another guy as well. You know, it's relatively, I charge the same if it's a big house or a small house. It's just, you know, if bigger houses cost more and smaller houses cost less, but square footage wise and what you're looking at, basically the, the same thing, you know, yeah, a small house will cost $1,000, a big house will cost $4,000, but relatively speaking, they're, they're the same. Uh, so the other the other house that I, uh, that I quoted, he right away he emailed me back, when can you start? You know, no questions asked, you know, because they, they know and, and they I've done work for for his family and stuff. So, I mean, they, they know the work that they're going to get. And this lady, she just wants to negotiate the price. And I don't know. I'm at the point where there's no there's really no negotiation. You can't negotiate. You know, the price is what it is. 
And because if I go do it and you know, yeah, okay, I'll get your $500 off. Then I'm having to rush through it, do things fast and try to get it done just to, you know, have a nice profit on the job. And then she's gonna want a bunch of touch-ups. I already, I already know, so I don't know. I think I'm at the point where I might just uh, turn down these jobs like that because it's not, it's not, it's not worth it. <sighs> That's my little rant for today. Good morning. We're up and running again. I'm gonna come see Hector over here at this house. He got here really early. I'm gonna see if I can spray at least two sides today and uh, go from there. Oh, I had a game last night and it was fun. It was really fun. Uh, got home late. Went to sleep late, so that's why I'm, I'm up late. <laughs> but it's all right. Hector's been here for a couple of hours and he's got, he should have a bunch of stuff prepped out already for me to start spraying, so. Here we go. So we're having a great day. Yeah, I sprayed two sides of the house and it looks good. The other day when I came to wash it, I didn't notice and I was washing it. And after I was, well, I did something bad. I feel kind of bad. On top of one of the pop outs, there was a little bird nest and I wet it all and it, and it fell and there was little birdies inside. And uh, they were like trying to cry, but you couldn't really hear them. Uh, and yesterday when I got here, Hector was on that side and he goes, hey, be careful, because there's a bird that keeps on coming and it's poking at me. It's trying to poke at me. And he says, I think it's because the nest fell. I go, man, he said, I don't, man, I, I, was, I was washing the house down and I knocked the nest down. So I feel kind of bad. And then after that happened, I saw another nest. So instead of washing it down, I uh, I made sure there was nothing in it, but I felt kind of bad. And today, there's uh, the bird keeps on coming back to the area where the nest was at. Oh, well, I just felt kind of bad, you know, because uh, the mom bird is probably really sad or mad or I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And I told Erika and the kids, and they're all, you're a bird killer. <laughs> you're a murderer. <laughs> no, I said, you're a murderer. And I said, well, it wasn't, well, I should have looked, but oh well. But anyways, we're having a great day. Uh, this house is going to take a lot of paint. It's really dry, but it's going to look good once it's done. And we'll see. An interesting area over here because right around you know 12 it's 12 o'clock right now or about 12 on it starts getting windy and i can't really spray but i got everything i wanted to do today tomorrow i'll finish off this side in the back paint the casita and then there's a shed in the back i gotta paint too so i should be i should do all that tomorrow and heck we'll continue with the fascia and then on Friday, just come in and do any touch-ups that need to be done and paint the garage doors and we're done. We'll be done Friday. I need to clean my truck, my truck's a mess. We're all done here. It's early, it's not even, it's like 1.40. So Hector worked, uh, I don't know, he got here like at 6.30, so seven, he worked like six and a half hours today. And I worked like four, like three and a half, four hours today. But uh, we accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish, so that's a good thing. And uh, I think I ran over a rock or something. Recommendation for people. If you hire someone to go do a job for you, just let them do their job. If there's something wrong, you know, you can fix it at the end. Because if, if it, it's kind of uncomfortable, he's not complaining or anything, he's, he's a nice guy. But he's just watching you, like, I don't know, it's a little bit weird. I mean, I, I, he trusts us because I painted his brother-in-law's house, like, I don't know, like five, six years ago. And he, that's how he got my numbers. I mean, he's seen our work, but I think he's just interested in seeing what we're doing, but it's just kind of uncomfortable. So you kind of want to just get get it done to, uh, to move on. But, uh, do a recommendation 
if you do hire people to do, do something, you know, just let them do their job and then if there's something wrong, you know, keep a mental note of something that you saw. And you know, when it's done, just tell them, hey, can you, uh, I, I noticed this, can you fix that? And most of the time, when that, when, if that, if that happens to me, I gladly fix anything, you know, you, it's just nice when people just let you work. Uh, they just leave you alone and let you work. I don't got nothing against if you want to keep an eye on us, I don't, I don't care, but it's just kind of uncomfortable. And you kind of wanting to finish just to finish and move on to the next job. But it is what it is. Everybody's a little bit different. Now I'm gonna go home, I think. I don't know, I don't have much plans for today. We're not going to do anything today. We got nothing planned. So. Good morning again. Just left the paint store. <clears throat> and uh, I guess should be at this job. It's early. It's like 6.30. I got up early. I got up like at 4.30. I couldn't sleep. So I just got up and did some stuff on the computer. And I went to a the living room couch and just relax for a while but and now I'm tired again <laughs> I woke up too early and now I'm sleepy again but eh, it's all right so I'm gonna try to knock out this house today I gotta paint the casita and two sides of the house shouldn't be that hard and then uh, and the shed and then by like I'll get there like at seven o'clock by right after lunchtime. I want to, I want Hector to start painting, uh, painting the fascia. So we should, we should be able to accomplish that. Start painting fascia and then tomorrow I'll just do garage doors and finish up. Should be good. Happy guy. We sometimes have uh, jobs where we can't totally get behind certain areas like this one because there's all these uh, like these tree looking things here so I paint in the bottom and then I put my ladder like this so I always tell a customer if you ever remove those you probably have to repaint that area because I try to get it as best as possible but it's impossible you know the way you're spraying it's uh, you're, it, you just can't spray good in there so it's all right they know that it's either that or they remove everything and so i can spray good and then let things grow again so but every whenever that happens like behind uh plants or something like that i spray as best as possible but if it doesn't cover correctly you know i really can't do much about it so i always tell them i could come back and do it if you ever trim them or get rid of the bushes so. well we're all done here finished everything I just the only thing I didn't we didn't finish and it was because I ran out of paint and I didn't want to go get more but uh we didn't finish the just the the back patio of the casita and that's it so tomorrow we finished most of the fascia so tomorrow Hector will get here early and finish the fascia that needs to be finished when I get here I'll just do the back patio of the casita you can start touch-ups and then I'll do the garage doors. We're done. Hopefully be done by like I could be done by like 12 to have one start the weekend early. Uh, it might happen, it might not. We should. And, and there shouldn't be too many touch-ups either. But I need to go get some fuel. Go home. Relax. I'm tired today. I'm tired because I've been up since 4:30. I'm tired. It's okay. It's work. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. You go finish this house. Hector should be there already at 6:30. He should be uh, started already by the time I get there. But. Uh, should have a good day today. Hopefully finish. I like to finish by about by about lunchtime. Just start doing touch-ups. 
we should. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, we're all done here. It's the way it turned out. It's similar to what it was. It just looks more refreshed. But it's good. It's more fresh. You know, the front was pretty bad. But, yeah, it's nice. Very beautiful. Now it's time to go home. I gotta go see two jobs right now. Actually, three jobs right now. But it's okay. It's work. So I'm gonna go to the backyard so you, see, so you can see. I repainted all that this a little while ago because I didn't like the way it looked. But this is the uh, backyard. We are done. Done, done, done. Where are my keys at now? Hector lost his keys right now, and now I, I lost my keys. I just, where are my keys at? Oye, ahora se perdió la mi llave. Hold on. I found my keys. It's because Hector lost his keys right now as we were leaving. He couldn't find them, and I found them. They're on the ground in the rocks. And I have a little air tag on mine to where I used to lose them all the time. One time, I couldn't find them, couldn't find them, so I started going through the trash, and it was a trash can. In the trash bags that we cut, that we that we uh, where we put our our plastic. So I got an air tag, and now when I lose it, I just you know track it with my air tag and make it make noise and find it real quick. But Hector I just forgot him. He lost one before. But we're all done here. I'm gonna, tonight, I don't know. I think, we're, I think, I think, I, I told Erika I wanted to go out to eat, but we might go to, uh, I don't know. You got a dilemma. I like steaks, and I like Texas Roadhouse, and, and I like going to restaurants. But my steaks are better at my house. Like when I make them, they're, they're better than, I don't know. It's got a good method of making my steaks, and I uh, I like my steaks better. It costs me like like if I go to Texas Roadhouse, it's like 35 bucks for a ribeye steak. And at my house, I can get a I've been getting New York strips because they're it's cheaper, but I go to Costco and get a ribeye steak, you know, $18 a pound or whatever. buy one at Texas Roadhouse, I could get two at Costco, almost. So that's my dilemma that I like, I think I like my food better. But I don't know, sometimes I just don't feel like making steaks. Erika makes food every day, you know, like for her and Junior stuff, but I just like eating steaks, so I make, I, I just eat steaks all the time. Not yesterday, yesterday I had leftover, uh, some leftover barbecue I had. <laughs> tired not that late I want it to be done by 11 30 and it's 12 30 that's right I don't know I'm gonna let this car pass me it's because I have a bunch of trash in the back of my truck and uh, what I'm gonna do because they're building a bunch of houses over here so I'm gonna dump my house my, I'm gonna dump my trash in one of the track homes they have their, their big trash trash bins at. But anyways, I think that's it for this video. We got some stuff going on this weekend that we're gonna go to and stuff, but I'm just gonna kind of relax, go to dinner, have a good weekend. And Junior's making a video that he wants to put up, so that will be up here shortly. Or I don't know before or after this, but we're gonna put up a video of him. He wants to share some stuff going on in his life. Well, anyways, I dumped that trash already. Some tricones are building over there, and then I came by the bank and uh, just deposited my check because I got paid. I love getting paid. I like coming to the bank. Like you can, 
it, I can deposit online like to the, to the bank app and stuff. But I don't know, there's something about when they give you a check and just going into the bank. I don't know, it just, I don't know, it feels good, you know. Hey, I worked hard, and here's my money, and deposit, and check, I don't know. It's a mental thing for me. I deposit, I deposit them on uh, to the mobile app sometimes, but I don't know, like, it makes me nervous sometimes. I, I don't know. I just, I just like going to the bank. And uh, so I'm done there. I'm gonna come see this house. I think it's a two-story house. Everybody knows school. Then I'm gonna go home, and that's it for today. Like I said, I think we're gonna go have dinner somewhere. And I don't know. Nothing, nothing else going on. But thank you for watching. Be careful out there. There's a lot of crazy people. A lot of crazy things going on. So just be careful. Wherever you're watching, have a good morning or have a good afternoon or have a good night. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.